Hello and welcome to the Watermark Water Cooler. I'm here with Catherine. Catherine's first time on the Water Cooler. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, I'm Catherine. Um, I'm an account coordinator here and I actually just moved to Denver in May of this past year. So we're going to talk a little bit about social media and specifically about um, Instagram and like auditing your Instagram account Mm -hmm. and maybe taking a look at the past and what you should change for the future. Yeah. So what specific things do you recommend people audit? Um, I would start with your brand and your profile as a whole at first. Um, Definitely want to make sure your profile name and your bio name um, match each other and match your brand and your message. Um, It's really important to have a lot of information in your bio. It's important to have a lot of stuff in there because that can help you with SEO, um, ranking for searching, and then hashtags in your captions for all your posts too. Those are very, very important. I've found that a lot of people come into your posts from hashtags. Mm -hmm. um, So that's definitely very important. And then also just in your bio, I'd say have a lot of call to actions, like your phone number. um, If you're a restaurant, have that online ordering button in there. If your store have the buy now button, um, have your email in there, just anything that makes it easier for customers to contact you. What about in generalities of like a vibe of your posts? Like Mm -hmm. I I feel like um, brands specifically maybe start to lose, you know, consistency or you know, they don't go back and look at a full like history of their timeline to see what's going on. And yeah. and maybe some things like what was successful with posts. Um, what about things like that? I would say just really focus on the content and make sure that it's engaging. And it's something that people are actually going to, first of all, want to click on. If your post from far away doesn't look interesting to click on, like your caption's never going to be read. Mm-hmm. Um, so really focusing on the aesthetic and design of what you're posting. Hey, sorry for interrupting your video. I'm Cameron, Vice President of Watermark, and I wanted to tell you a little bit about our CRM learning tool. We just developed it, it's free for you all. The link is in the description below. We're gonna cover things like utilization of a CRM, automating those mundane tasks that you have to take care of every day, you know, hitting those sales numbers. If those are things you're struggling with, jump on over there, we're gonna learn together, and we'll see you there. I think we, we all know that uh, you can smell inauthenticity uh, in social. Um, what, how does that play a part of kind of this, like what yeah. your brand is? Um, I would probably start by just examining who your audience is um, and what you should be posting for your audience. But over the years, I definitely have noticed that Instagram specifically has just become a lot more casual, no matter who's posting it, whether it's brands, content creators, just regular users. Um, it's definitely a lot more casual. And I think people appreciate that. It shows the realness of who's behind mm-hmm. yeah. um, like the account. We were talking also about how knowing your audience is so important. Like, mm-hmm. you know, posting something that's really raw and you're like a more of a corporate company might be inappropriate. (laughs) So it's like knowing your audience and like when to, when is it okay to use a stock photo? When is it okay to like, you know, take your camera and go take a shot of whatever is going on in your business or your product Mm -hmm. um, and show it in in the wild, I would call it. Yeah. Um, And I think there's a lot of things on top of that. Like it's also know who your audience is. So you know what kind of content to post because Instagram offers like, so many different things to post now you can post one single photo you can post like a carousel of photos you can post reels you can post stories you can post ads um so really just know who your target market is and kind of um where they're going to be looking what they're going to be looking at yeah the analytics conversation was Mm -hmm. kind of the next place i was going is like what how important is that you know should as a as a review of your past year, I highly recommend that somebody go look at their analytics mm-hmm. and see what was working, what wasn't. Yeah, I would definitely look at your analytics. 
Um, like I was talking about, look at, say you posted at 8 a.m. for this post, and then the next post you posted at noon. Which one did better? Um, look at what day you're posting it on, what time you're posting it at. Um, and then again, back to the hashtag conversation. Look to see who clicked on which hashtags. Um, for example, like maybe a bunch of females clicked on this one hashtag, mm -hmm. bunch of males clicked on this hashtag. Mm -hmm. um, just really analyze those and adjust accordingly. So the last thing I want to ask you is, uh, can you do an Instagram dance for us? I'm, I'm just joking. That would be great though. Um, Catherine Instagram dance on the water cooler, but we, <laughs> we didn't practice that, so we won't do it. Um, but any, any other takeaways for uh, our audience for, for Instagram posting advice? Just keep testing, see what works, um, and then analyze your results and adjust accordingly. Cool. Yep. All right. Thanks so much. We'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing to the Watermark Water Cooler. We value your opinion and want to deliver the best content possible. To do that, we need your comments and feedback. What do you want to see or learn? Tools? Techniques? Behind the scenes? Comment below and make your idea our next video.